Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying re regrouping with tens and I'll soon explain what that means. Let's say we are adding this here and this here. In other words, three tens and four or 34. And I'll write it here and then we are adding eight. Now you can see that from this four and eight we can make a new ten, right? And the way we see it here is we uh, have 4 and 8, and we add 4 plus 8 equals 12, right? So that is 1, 10, and 2. So let me make that 10, 4 and 6 dots from here. Now this is called regrouping, because I take these individual little dots, these ones, and I make a 10 with them. So I group these with the other 10s, okay? And here I will show it like this. 4 plus 8 equals 12. And so, so that makes 1, 10. And I write the 1, 10 here and the 2, 1s here. And that is because this is the 1s column and this is the 10s column. So my 12, I have to regroup 1, 10 with the other 10s and the 2, 1s over here. And now I have 1, 10 and 3, 10s and I add those. So I get 4, 10s. 42. Okay, don't worry about it if it looked confusing because we're gonna do it again and again. Over here, my first number to add is 46, right? And the second number has two tens and six ones, 26. And now, when we start adding, we first look at the ones, these dots here, six and six. Again, that makes 12. 6 plus 6 equals 12, which is 1, 10, and 2. And I will write the 1, 10 with the other 10s here in this column. And the 2 gets written here because it is two ones or two little dots. And in the picture, I show it like this. I make a 10. There. So now I have the 4 10s and the 2 10s and this 1 new 10. The 1 new 10 is written as 1 here in the tens column. And then I add the tens. One and four and two tens. Makes seven tens. Seventy-two. And once more. My first number to add, thirty-five, right? The second number here, thirty-six. Again, I look at the ones. Five and six. Five plus six is eleven. That's more than ten. So, I write the 10 here that I got, and then that leaves 1, 1 over here. And in the picture, I make a 10. And then there's the 1 individual dot there. And now I add all those 10s. The 3 10s, the 3 10s, and the new 10 that I got. So I get 7 10s here again. 71. Okay, I hope this explains it. Let's try it here now. I don't have a picture here, but it works the same way, and it's not that difficult. You add here first the ones, the dots, 7 plus 6, so that's 13. So that's 10 and 3. You write the 10 over here, 1 10, and 3 over here. And then you add all your 10s, 1 and 4 and 2 makes 7 10s. Again, here are your ones, add them first. 8 plus 8 equals 16. That's 1, 10 and 6. So the 1, 10 gets written here with the other 10s. That's called regrouping, okay? We group it with the 10s because it became a 10. And then here are the 6 ones. Then add 1 plus 5 plus 3, which is 9 tens. The answer is 96. Once more, we do it with the picture. This is going to be a little bit different, but almost the same. My first number to add, the six tens and seven. The other one has three tens and eight. Okay, I start the same way. I add here the ones. Seven plus eight equals fifteen. One ten and five. Okay, so the one ten goes here, five here. And in the picture, seven and three from here. But now, let's look at all those 10s. 1 plus 6 
plus 3 equals 10. So I just write it here, 10. But actually, 10 tens makes what? 100, right? So actually, these 10 tens here, if I could, I could put them all together into one big 100. And here, it, it is written just like a 10, but then you see the number, that the number actually has 105. Uh-huh. Matthew wants to do one problem. I'm gonna let him, but then you check his work, okay? Okay, Matthew. Over there. Six plus nine, yeah. He got 115. What do you think? Did he get it right? Let's check. Six plus nine, 15. One, ten, five. Yeah, that's correct. You know what? Sometimes children make this error that when they get 15, they write five there and one there. So you have to be on the lookout for that. And then five and five and is 10, and then one, 11. Correct, and that is 115. One more. Over here, we're gonna add three numbers, but it works the same. We add here five plus two plus eight, but actually it's easier to add eight plus two first because that makes 10. So 10 and five, 15. And again, 15 is one 10 here and five here, not the other way around. And then one plus one plus two, that's four, plus three is seven. That's easy, right? Matthew bought three computer programs that cost $32 and $27 and $38. Find his total cost. Okay, he bought three things. We need to find the total cost. So we find that by adding. And I'm gonna use the idea from this lesson where we're gonna write those numbers under each other. Right? I have space here. So let's write it here. 32 and 27 and 38. And then a line and then a plus. Now we're ready to add first here in the ones. 2 and 7 and 8. Again, I'm going to add 2 plus 8 first because that makes 10. So 2 plus 8, 10. Plus 7, 17. 17, okay, remember it's 1, 10 over here and 7 here. 1, 10, 7. And then my 10s. 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3. Okay, that's going to be 9. So his total cost is $97. What did you buy, by the way, Matthew? Math programs? Oh, no? Okay, he says that just one of them was a puzzle program. Okay, well done with this lesson.